Hello, I'm Karen from the University City Public Library, and I'm here to tell you a story. This story is an old one that comes from the area in Africa that is now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo. And the part of the border of that country is a huge lake known as Lake Tanganyika. This story begins on an island in that huge lake. Now, on this island, there lived a cat and a rat, and they got along just fine. Not like the cats and rats we know today. They were actually friends because Rat had plenty to eat. He could dig up roots and eat them. He could get fruits and nuts that fell from the trees. He could even eat bugs. And Cat could easily hunt for birds because there were lots of them on the island. And she could also have the fish that washed up on the shore. So everything was going well until Rat decided that he was tired of living on the island. So one day he says to Cat, you know, I think it would be nice if we went over to the mainland because then you wouldn't have to hunt for your food and I wouldn't have to dig through the dirt for part of mine. You know, we could go to the town and I'm sure we could find lots to eat there. Well, yes, says Cat, but how are we going to get there? There's a lot of water between here and the mainland. Ah, that's easy, says the rat. We can build a boat. Build a boat? I don't know how to build a boat. What can we build a boat out of? Oh, rat says, we have maniac root. Maniac would make a great boat. I'll just dig up a huge piece so we can carve a boat out of it. Now, maniac root is something that is used for food frequently. If you find it in our grocery stores, it's usually under the name cassava, or in some stores it might be called yucca. And you can make flour out of it. You can make a number of things out of this root. So the rat goes and digs up a great big piece of manioc root. And he starts to hollow it out. He uses his teeth and he bites into it and he pulls out pieces until he hollows out the inside, kind of like a canoe. And the cat used her claws on the outside to scrape away the dirt and to shape the boat so it looked like a boat instead of just a root. And she made the ends pointy and it made a nice little canoe type boat. They even made paddles so they could make their way to the mainland. So the sun was pretty high in the sky when they both climbed in the boat and took off for the mainland. And they paddled and paddled and paddled and paddled. And eventually, Cat started howling. Because she was hungry. And Rat started squealing. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Because he was hungry too. They had forgotten to pack any food to bring along and they still had a long way to go. Well, says Rat, there's no use crying. It's not going to help anything. I think we should just take a nap until we get closer to the shore. The cat says, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So they both curl up in the boat and fall asleep. Now Rat was the first one to wake up. And he woke up and it suddenly dawned on him. The boat is made of manioc root. And manioc root was delicious. 
So he starts nibbling away at the inside of the boat, which was fine. He was eating what he was nibbling, and it just made the opening on the inside of the boat a little bit bigger. Well, Cat wakes up. What's that noise? What am I hearing? And Rat immediately pretended to be asleep. Oh, I must have been dreaming. So Cat curls up and goes right back to sleep. Soon as Cat was asleep, Rat started nibbling at the boat again. Nibble, 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 chomp, chomp, chomp. Nibble, 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 chomp, chomp, chomp. And Cat wakes up again. What is that noise? And Rat pretended. Soon Cat decides, I don't know what it was. I'm going back to sleep. And she goes back to sleep. And Rat gets up and he starts gnawing away on the boat again. But soon he gnawed away too much and he put a hole in the bottom of the boat. Well, water started coming in. And then that woke the cat up and she's like, what is going on? Why is there water? What have you done? Rat said, I'm, I'm sorry, I was hungry and, and the boat's made out of something tasty. So I accidentally put a hole in the boat. And the cat says, well, I'm hungry too. And I think I'm going to eat you. But before she could pounce on a rat, the boat sank. So the two of them found themselves swimming for the mainland. And they had quite a ways to go. And they swam, and they swam, and they swam. And eventually they pulled themselves up onto the beach. And Cat says, all right, now I'm going to eat you. And Rat says, no, wait, you know, Right now, I'm all sopping wet, and I don't think that'll make me taste very good. Let me get dried off. We can sit here in the sun and, and get all dry, and then I'll taste better. So the cat says, well, yeah, okay, because I feel pretty disgusting, too. So she actually goes and sits under a tree. And while she's under the tree, she starts grooming. No, no, no and making herself look all pretty again. She washes off all the lake water. Then she says, Rat, are you ready? Well, well, I don't know that I'm dry yet. Let's just, just wait a little longer. So Cat decides, well, I'm gonna clean my tail a little more. So she's licking her tail and busy involved with that. And while she's doing all that, Rat is digging a hole. He digs down and digs down. And then Cat says, all right, Rat, now are you ready? And he said, yes, I'm ready. And he dives into the hole. And Cat says, come out of there. I'm going to eat you. You get out of that hole. Never, says the rat. Then you can stay there until you starve said Cat, I'm going to sit here and wait for you until you have to come out sometime. So Rat is down in the hole and he starts tunneling. And eventually he tunnels his way all the way around to the other side of that big tree. And then he tunnels his way up and he climbs out of that hole and runs away from Cat. So, from that day to this one, cats and rats are not friends. And the other thing is, cats never sleep very soundly because they're always listening for that rat to come around so they can catch him and eat him. And that's the end of that story.